Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Hobby Central video. Today, we've got something a little bit special, a little different. Today, we've got The Lion King Series 2. Now, we broke uh, the Series 1 box oh, quite a while ago, and uh, this one's been listed ever since, to be honest. I kind of forgot that it was listed. I, I think we tried to do a group break, but no one bought any spots which is fine um, so we just threw it up as a personal break um, and we have some of this stuff available still I think we've switched it all to we just send a sealed box to you though I don't think it's I don't know uh, to be honest I've just been focused on Pokemon I don't even know what's going on anymore so uh, we are gonna break this here for mr. David David thank you so much for your order much appreciated sorry it took so long to get to it uh, just so much going on behind the scenes um, had to had to mow multiple properties and all that stuff look at the bottom it almost looks like I'm sure it's not because I don't see any reason why to uh, why to I don't I don't see any beneficial reason to do such uh, but it almost looks like it's resealed um, I do know that I'm gonna try to keep this box in best condition I like how I opened my knife just to do that I'm gonna try to keep this box in the best of condition as possible because I know if it didn't sell, I was just going to keep it because I'm a big Lion King myself. Big Lion, I'm a big Lion King. I'm a big Lion King fan myself. Grew up uh, watching this movie probably way too much, just enough to annoy my parents. Man, getting that out without... There we go. Um, you know, now they've got the remake and everything, and now my kids love it, so it's pretty cool. Uh, David also said that he wanted me to keep a couple of the packs sealed for him. So we are going to do that. Let's just go ahead and take two of the packs off the bottom. Look at that. They look so cool. Eight cards per pack. And I'll probably pack the cards back in here. Let's see. 80. Get that focus job. Come on, camera. 80 breathtaking cards featuring new images with all, car all new card designs uh, inspired by Disney's blockbuster film. Unique subsets including memorable moments. Randomly inserted are nine thermograph thermography 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 cards, five pop-up cards, and two foil border art cards. I think I remember way back way back when when I was looking into this that there are actually a couple decent value chase cards in these um, but I, I have no idea I do not remember what those are now oh my lord that was hard to open but let's just start cracking here let's see what we got all right Timon and Pumbaa and Simba staring at the stars Rafiki words of wisdom Rafiki's excuse me you follow old Rafiki he knows the way Oh sad Simba scar That's a pretty cool art card. Oh wow is that oh it is That's I wonder is that the holography? What was that word that I couldn't figure out? Come on camera there you go, so if you guys can see there's actually a really cool texture to that, which is kind of neat. Storyboard, storyboard art by Bernie Madison. Huh. A kind hand, his, a kind, wow. A king in his hair. His hair. I don't recognize that at all. That's a weird one. The art of Lion King. Okay. And then a Series 2 card. So I guess I'll sleeve this one. Because that's pretty cool. I don't think there's much value to any of these. You know, nothing too crazy. But why not? Alright, we got a lot of packs here. So I better start to get ripping. Got some more Rafiki going on. Some giraffes with their necks tied. I hate more than anything any cards that you have to sit here and keep turning the the direction of the cards that's a cool one ah so there's some puzzle cards clearly because that looks like either uh simba or mufasa 
And then there's these crazy art guards. There's another piece. Yeah, so it looks like it's going to be uh, Mufasa. No, probably Simba standing at the uh, Pride Rock up at the top once he becomes king. There's just an IRL Wildebeest, which is kind of cool. And an IRL Lion. All right. Ska. Timon. So every single one has that. That's kind of annoying. Kind of annoying, right? Dang it, Scar. Have you guys seen that, like, the one scene in the movie where um, Scar is, like, licking a bone after he has already eaten something? Or he's got a skull and he's got his fingers through it? Uh, if you pay close attention, it's a lion skull, more than likely Mufasa. So Scar ate his brother in the film. Some dark Disney uh, little factoids there. It's not 100% like that that's what happened, but it's, it's pretty heavily insinuated. I never caught it as a kid, and I think I saw it on like a TikTok video or something later in life. Like, we all knew Scar was bad. And that he killed his brother, but then he ate him? Like, come on, man. So we're starting to see some repeats now. Here's another one of those. Man, these are these are pretty cool. I don't know what they are. That's Timon hanging out with a bunch of bugs and grubs. And it's another one of those that just has that that texture to it. It reminds me almost of like a uh what do they call the uh Almost like crayons, but not crayons, like the pastels. Is that what it is? It almost looks like a pastel drawing. Kind of cool. Look at that. Back to back. That's, that's funny. Cool, cool. can't go wrong with some Lion King though. Also, if you've never played the Genesis or Super Nintendo game for the Lion King, it is one of the hardest, if not the hardest game that I've ever played from those generations. And as a Lion King fan, you got to do yourself the favor. It's actually a really good game too. It's very hard, but it is an actually a really enjoyable game uh, from that era. Starting to see lots of repeats now. That's the only bad thing about these old Tops series for like movies and stuff. Uh, there tends to be not very many cards in the set itself. So you end up, if you break an entire booster box like this, you end up getting a lot of duplicates. But it all does, I mean, I guess that's not the biggest deal as long as there's some cool chase cards, you know. We haven't seen a holofoil yet. Let's see. Nothing. Gonna start speeding up here a little bit. These packs are the ones that just disintegrate. I'm gonna have a heck of a mess to clean up. That's a cool one. Lots of puzzle pieces. Checklist. Our first checklist card. They're in really good condition for their age. I think you're going to have a full puzzle here, man. Because it seems... Well, at least pretty close. I don't know how many are in those puzzles. But, uh... Seems like there's a puzzle piece, at least one, in each pack. I see there's two, three... Unless there's multiple puzzles. But for their age, I mean, these cards are in really good shape. Better than those uh, Pokemon cards I got from Topps. The man, they were all stuck together. And I paid the price on those too. I was, I about cried when I saw that they were all stuck together. Oh, that's a cool one. Scar and Mufasa squaring off. Nice. More puzzle pieces. Oh, 
Bone and Pumba. Come on, give us some more of those cool cards. Come on. Alright. Get these out of our way. Keep on keeping on here. I want to see. It did say hollow foils, right? I'm pretty sure it said something about hollow foils. I have not seen a hollow foil yet. Hollow foil Timon and Pumba. That would be sick, right? That would be super sick, dude. Come on, man. Where the hits? Where the hits at? Let me know what you guys think. I've always thought it would be... I've toyed around with the idea in my head. You know how they have these subscription services for everything these days? That looks goofy. Um, you know, you got like loot crate, and snack crate, and this crate, and that crate. What would you guys think about like a vintage trading cards crate? Where you guys pay, I don't know, 25 bucks a month, 20 bucks a month, something like that. And you get every month a package. There we go. Ooh, that's a cool one too. With Nala and Simba making out, bro. Nice one right there. But yeah, you pay, uh, you pay a monthly subscription rate. From Hobby Central, and then every month you would get, you know, a mixture. You might get a couple Lion King series two packs, or some Batman or Ninja Turtles, you know, like old wax packs and stuff like that. It's something I've been toying around with the idea of, and I think it would be really cool to do. If that's something that you guys would be interested in, leave a comment down below. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can make something happen. And the cool thing is that once you got them, you could either break them, you know, be a kid, be a kid again, right? Break some packs once a month. Or, you know, if you end up with a duplicate, maybe you got a pack, uh, maybe you get two packs of Lion King Series 2. Maybe you leave one sealed and just kind of throw it up on a shelf or re-gift it, send it, you know, maybe you know somebody that's, like, so that's what I would do, right? Like, if I had, if I got a subscription package and it had a bunch of random nostalgia packs in it and there was like Ninja Turtles in there or something and let's say I'm not a big fan of Ninja Turtles I would just give that pack to like a friend or a family member if I knew that they were a big Ninja Turtles fan you know because that's super cool stuff like my mom's a big Coca-Cola fan and I found randomly I found Coca-Cola trading cards sealed packs of Coca-Cola trading cards from the 80s at a garage sale and I picked up like three or four packs of them and I gave them to my mom for Christmas because she's a huge Coca-Cola fan. And it was just so fun to sit there and watch her, you know, open a pack of cards from the 90s or 80s or whatever they were. Oh, there we go. We got our first pop-up. I just think they're a super fun thing. You know, like, who didn't like trading cards on some level when they were younger? Look at that. We got Zazu, the pop-up. So once you pull this, he will pop up, and then you, I think you can kind of display it, maybe. Uh, I really want to try it out, but it's not mine, so I won't. Let's see if it'll fit in a sleeve. I'm not sure. Just to, uh, yeah, give it a little protection. There we go, Zazu. I'm pretty sure there was pop-ups in Series 1, because I remember those. I remember messing with some pop-ups. All right. Is that another one? No, that's just... Yeah, because we already had... That's actually a duplicate. I thought we had another one of those funky art cards. Alright. 
Sorry if you can hear the lawnmower outside. Tis that time of the year. It's one of the reasons I've not had any time lately. I've got two houses right now. One that I'm living in and the one that I'm renovating that I will be moving into. Which means I, lu lucky me, I have two yards to mow. You know, and here in Missouri, I don't know how it is where you guys live. There we go. We got another one. Ooh, that's cool. Scar over the, uh, over the, like, lava canyons. That is sweet. I don't know how it is where you guys live, but you have to mow, basically, at least once a week. Sometimes, if the rain and everything comes just right, sometimes you gotta mow a couple times a week. So when you've got two properties, whew, it takes some time. It takes some time. And you're running multiple businesses. My kids just started baseball. So they've got baseball practice twice a week. You know, just just grown-up stuff, right? Just adulting. Hashtag adulting. Dude, this wildebeest is getting old. <laughs> How many times have we pulled that wildebeest? Alright, what do we got? Two packs left? Come on, give us some more cool ones. Last pack here, ladies and gentlemen. It's a duplicate. Another meerkat, aka Timon. And that is all she wrote. David, thank you so much for your order, man. Much appreciated. Again, if you guys are interested in some sort of a like monthly uh, subscription box where you get vintage packs. From, you know, it could be anything, movies, video games, you know, whatever. Uh, I would say Pokemon, but obviously, you know, to get a vintage pack of Pokemon cards, you're talking hundreds of dollars. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. These are really cool, though. I like these. Look at this. Look at that sky. Hanging out. The Zazu pop-up. This one's pretty sweet. I don't know if these have any value, but... If they were to have any value, I think you've got some pretty good ones. You know, Timon with the bugs, maybe not so much. Um, but that would be uh, Simba and Mufasa hanging out. So that could be, I could see that being a, a sought after one. As far as rarity, I have no idea. Scar hanging out over the lava pit, that's just a visually awesome one. And then you got, of course, Simba and Nala falling in love. I mean, come on. I think he did pretty good. All right. Thank you very much, David. Much appreciated. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please show the video some love with a like and a positive comment down below. We will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.